my dudes, today we're buying a new car. Not this, it's down the street, let's go. Now, as you guys saw in the last episode, my uh, beautiful rally car, <laughs> if you wanna call it that, took a massive crap on me at the very beginning of my first event. You know, it, it didn't bother me too much at the time because I was so pumped up from the adrenaline rush. Until yesterday, when they released a scorecard, <laughs> I saw my name at the very bottom of the table. There were eight of us that got DNF, so we're each sitting at 30 points each out of 300. Now, if, if I scored low because I drove slow or because I crashed the car, you know, I, I take it like a man and just work on improving my driving skill. But to be at the bottom half to score very low because of a mechanical failure, that stings. It, I'm a very competitive person by nature, so it, it really bothered me yesterday when I saw my name at the very bottom. So, what we're doing is we're buying a brand new car. So we're gonna throw a quarter million dollars into this thing and turn it into a complete WRC car. The fact of the matter is, in order for me to improve as a driver, I need as much seat time as possible. And honestly, this entire thing was my fault to begin with because every time I've tried to be practical, every time I've tried to be a little economical, something like this always happens and ends up biting me in the, you know, in the rear. So no more, we're gonna build the most epic rally car. Now, typical YouTube tradition, I'm gonna make you guys watch the entire video before I reveal what kind of a car it is. Uh, don't pay attention to those signs. <laughs> God, I just gave it away, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, at least they don't know what model it is. Oh, obviously I'm gonna buy SCI. What other oh. Subaru would I okay. get? Okay. Uh, kind of just gave that away too, huh? Gave that away too, yeah, good I'm, job. Obviously, yeah, I'm not very good at this whole uh, clickbait reveal BS stuff. Uh, comment below. Let me know what color you think the car is. You think my shirt gives it away? This <laughs> Give it up. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually looking at two different ones. Red, blue, or white. I think they have a silver one as well. I'm not really into silver. So, uh, look at this. Wow. No, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of this color. I love that not, color. I love the brakes. Not feeling the color. So funny story. I called this guy yesterday. The sticker of the car is $40,000. I called the guy. Call the dealer, told the sales guy, I want the car for 40,000 outdoor, so in, meaning 40,000 including tax. He goes, My friend, uh, what you're asking me to do is in the Mission Impossible. <laughs> Listen, Tom Cruise, <laughs> make it happen. Go home tonight, tell your wife you're Tom Cruise. The guy starts laughing, so I, I got a hell of a deal. I think this is it. This is the white one, huh? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh, it's awesome. pro white. It's not just white, it's pro white. Pro -white yeah. Let's go meet Tom Cruise. When I stop by the Lamborghini dealership or the Ferrari dealership, they give me freshly brewed Starbucks coffee over here. I get Capri Sun. <laughs> All these other sales guys are so pissed off. So I came here two days ago and I looked at this car. And then uh, I looked at a few other ones at the different dealers. I called back yesterday, talk, talked to Tom Cruise, made a deal with him. So I didn't remember anyone's names. That's why the guy told us no filming loud as soon as we got here. Yeah, so now we're hiding. What do you think of it? Love this is it. the one, huh? White? Love it. Red and black. This isn't red though. What is this? Like burgundy? Yeah. Maroon. Maroon? Yeah. A little dull. Not that it's going to matter. I mean, everything's going to be stripped. Yeah. So this car weighs 3,400 pounds. My uh, rally car, my current car weighs 2,600 pounds, which is the uh, lowest allowable weight. So we've got to shape 800 pounds off of this thing, which is going to be a task. So full dash. Headliner, oh, good thing it doesn't have a sunroof. Headliner, carpet, sound deadening, uh, door panels, all the seats, front and back, uh, the windows, these are massive. We're gonna replace all this with plexiglass. This car has, what is it, like eight windows on each side. That's a lot, 10 windows total. Uh, so that's a couple hundred pounds. Uh, airbags, radio, speakers, cats, mufflers, Place that with a straight pipe exhaust, titanium, uh, that's like an extra 70 pounds right there. ABS module is 16 pounds. AC, AC should be about another 20 pounds. Uh, power braking system, all that stuff. So off the top of my head, I can figure out how we're going to get about four or 500 pounds off. But then remember, we're adding a 100 pound roll cage to this thing. So that puts us right at the 3000 mark. So another 400 pounds needs to come off of this car. What I'm assuming is a lot of carbon fiber body panels. This thing's gonna have a full WRC aero kit on it. So like the entire side's gonna be flat. Do you know why? Do you know why the sides of the cars are flat? Are flat? No. Yeah. Okay. So when you turn, 
the wind catches it so it doesn't turn too much. It's completely flat, so it kind of kind of acts like a wing. It keeps the car in check. Huh. That's a cool car though. I yeah. like it. Very cool. I, I just, I, it's exciting. <laughs> that's uh, I feel bad for the car. <laughs> so we're taking a brand new car. I know. We're gonna strip it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up the, the trash bin at AGX with a bunch of super parts. So if anyone wants any brand new super parts, you can go to AGX with trash bin. Six speed, oh, sequential transmission. Uh, hydraulic e-brake. You can go all out in this thing. Get it up to like 400 horsepower, just massive blow up valve. Oh yeah. <laughs> By the way guys, this is Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you though. Yeah, so congrats on the new car. Appreciate it. So like you get like three sets of keys, so obviously two of them they're like coming with buttons over here. Okay. One is the valley key. So obviously if you want to lock it, that's easy. Awesome. And if you press it three times, it's coming with the anti-theft alarm. So okay. you can just press it three times. This is unlock obviously. If you hold this, you can just pop the pop trunk. trunk. That's oh. very easy. So let's have a seat. Just adjust your seat over here, your steering wheel. I'm gonna sit over there with you, prepare your phone, show you some features, and you're Perfect. out of here. Yeah. Is the car on? Yeah, the yeah. car is on. <laughs> this is on? <laughs> I can't hear anything. Oh, it's gonna sound so nice. Dude, I can't hear anything. I'm gonna take it to RS Speed Design right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a record. Yeah. He's a uh, mile and a half away. So, a mile and a half. <laughs> After buying the car, we're gonna straight pipe this thing. First mod. This is really quiet. That boxer engine. Yep. That's kind of cool, man. Yeah, oh yeah. I feel bad for ruining this car, <laughs> turning it into a rally <laughs> car. Oh, this is a cool thing. It starts off in sport mode. Right here? Oh yeah? You make it comfortable if you want. Oh. It's, it's not like another car where it starts off in comfort mode and then you hit the sport button. Tom Cruise? I'll be with you shortly. <laughs> Can you teach me all this stuff right here? Yeah, over this, here. This is like what I'm most concerned about. Okay, so the center for, for, for this part, I'm sure you're very good at it. You can leave it on auto. So if you leave it on auto, so it's like it goes by its own. Because okay. the pressure and power, if you put on the front and rear differential, you can change it based on the, the way you want to drive it. And like whatever place you want to drive it. So right now, if, if you leave it on auto, so it's on auto, but if okay. you push it on manual, so you can just like technically, if you lock it so all the way, this is so it's gonna drive? Be, no, it's gonna be 50 free, 50, 50, 50 on front, 50 back. Okay. Or you can just, you know, adjust it the way you want it. There are lots of videos on YouTube. So if I take it all the way to the rear, what is it? Rear so wheel drive? No, it's, the car is all the time all wheel drive. Okay by its own all the time. But the catch is you can change it, like the pressure and power you put on the front and rear differential and just based on like how you drive. Let's say you drive in snow or the way you drive. Okay. So technically there are lots of videos for this on YouTube. I'm sure you're very good at it. So you can just, you know, just check it out to yeah. see like, you know, because here's the thing, the car technically is like 41, 59. The pressure okay. and power to put on the front and rear differential. Okay. So you can lock it all the way to 50, 50. So it's gonna split it in gotcha. half. So it's probably, 80 20 or 70 30 it's, it's going to keep changing because the car is symmetrical all the drive so it's like technically such a such a performance you get on Subaru, you can get just on audi as well it's called quattro so they keep rotating all the time okay. so the pressure and power they put on rear and uh, like front or rear like uh, rear differentials keeps changing all the time and you can change it and control it the way you like it okay on top of it so this one is kind of like different modes of driving so right now you're on on sharp sport you can just push it over here to sport and if you push it down it's going to be intelligent intelligent is going to be the city driving so obviously it's going to give you the best gas mileage but if you want you can change it the way you want it so if you go for like race or you want to have a better performance you go to sharp sport that's sharp the, sport that's sport, the sharp. most aggressive mode but technically the gas mileage is not going to be as good as we intelligent. Don't care about that. we don't care about that uh, so you're you're heading with east over here. Okay. So you have the dimmer, so like home links, you can sync them up with a clicker, like garage opener. Just bring it and keep holding, so it's gonna sync up. Which one is the Mission Impossible like rocket launcher? Which one? You have to know. add it later. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so if you want to back up the car, just have this one. You oh, need cool. to just pull this part. And the car is coming with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. No so navigation, right? No, because you can use the navigation from your phone. Anytime you just plug it into the USB port. So technically you can just mirror your That's entire cool. phone on a display. You can change yeah, the information over here. Oh wow. So mostly they leave it on a booster. That's fine because the car is That's coming boost. with the turbocharger. So anytime, exactly, it's gonna boost. It's gonna show it to you over here. Especially when you change the gears. So okay. you're gonna love that part. Yeah. I, I leave it on this one, but obviously you can get some other information over here, whatever oh, wow. you like, but I leave it on a booster. Mostly they prefer that okay. one. And the car is coming because you ask 
the car if the car is coming with the navigation it's not coming with it but you have the apple carplay and android auto okay so anytime you plug in your phone oh, yeah. through uh, the usb port with the original cable um the, there's this is all gonna you're gonna take tomorrow. it out yeah. okay but by the way you can mirror your entire phone as okay. far as it's it's over here today so you can try it out till okay. till, till later till tomorrow and uh do you want to pair your phone on the car no it's fine okay so you can just pair it over here by the way you can download these apps and just enjoy using awesome. it and settings there's, they're all set as default you can go one by one and customize the way you like it it's gonna be difficult listening to music with no speakers in this car i hear you but you can just <laughs> add some like aftermarket speakers oh, yeah. maybe no i mean because yeah. i'm removing the speakers okay take the whole thing out yeah. just make it like as as light as possible yeah okay I'll call you, you'll like do some beatbox for me. I love to just hear back from you, just watch some videos when okay. you're racing. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. You're Thanks welcome. for making this Congrats easy. Congratulations on the car. Thank Have a good one. Have a good one. Take care. Be All safe. Right. Thank you. you. Enjoy it. You're welcome. Dude, that is so cool. I'm mean, going to get in so many accidents, just pay attention to that instead of the road. <laughs> That's your first time seeing it? Boost? Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never had This is my first turbo car. I've never had a turbo car before. Really? Yeah, I just realized that. It needs another like 600 horsepower. Yeah? Yeah, it's very smooth. So, do we break it in first or do we just gas it right off the, right out of the gate? You can gas it a little bit. It's torquey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. That was uh, 4,000 RPMs out of seven. What's the first mod you guys want to see on this car? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> A little shaky. Uh, obviously straight pipe exhaust and Mondi license plate. That's being taken care of today. So besides that, what do you guys want to see on this car? You guys want to see aero or suspension first? Maybe engine mods first? Blow up for sure. Well, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, let's go to uh, RS Speed Design, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll grab my car too. You get right it? Here, car? Right there. That's my car. Woo! Oh! A tragedy. Go well, ahead, gas get by an STI. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rinse, repeat. Basically. No, no, don't repeat. No, no, <laughs> don't, don't repeat. repeat. Yeah. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get this ready for winter season. Okay. Race this in the snow. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be cool. Go speed up north. <laughs> speed and first things first, blow off valve. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what a blow off valve does. <laughs> what is that? That noise is when you don't have a blow off valve. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't want to blow off valve. Yeah, take your blow off valve off I and do make not that want noise. noise. Really? Yeah. So it has a ball foul. Yeah. Can you disconnect it? Yeah, you want to hear me make that noise? Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> First, I'm having a turbo car. I don't know anything about turbo cars. Yeah, so that noise that you hear is compressor surge, is when they take the ball foul off a car. Because in rallies, it'd be another failing point in the car. So when you let go of the gas, the air comes and hits the compressor blades and it goes. All right, so what's, the, what's the purpose of a ball foul? Is to keep your turbine and your compressor wheels spinning by relieving pressure. So the air doesn't come hit the blade, so normal driving you'd have better acceleration than next gear. So it, it doesn't cause your turbo to slow down when you shift. So why would you want to remove it? Well, in a rally condition, it's because they're going through such like adverse things that maybe that would be a failing point. If it gets stuck open, you won't be able to create boost, and now you're fucked out of your rally, let's say. So you'd rather fuck up the blade a little bit through the whole run and make sure that you make it. Spread. There you go. So where's the blow off valve? It. And we'll plug this and we'll rather drop it and get some noise. Hold on, let me plug that first. I'm gonna hold my finger right here. So we can <laughs> I'm confused. I yeah. didn't know that. I, I thought that was a blow off valve yeah. that gives it that noise. Now it's that's why it's shaking. Yeah. That's it? I mean so if you have like a really high boost car too, like uh, before it releases the blow off valve, sometimes you'll get a little bit of surge and then it'll blow off because the spring is so tight inside the system because it has so much power. 
so like there's so much boost in it that it would want to leak anyways. I see. I mean, again, this has a closed air box. Let's see if it makes any funny noises like that. I mean, I'd say I'd be curious to see. I think right. that's like the first. The, the difference thing anyway. That's the, that's the air box. This is uh, how to ruin a Subaru in two miles or less. By the way, this is not what we do here at the shop, but this is just me entertaining you. And what you can it's, think. it's just me being me. Okay, which, uh, which is, everyone understands that. We're good on that. <laughs> this is uh, when you know you've officially lost your mind or you have serious issues. Hopefully it won't sound like that. I was just gonna say. All right, there's a school that way. We're gonna go this way. All right, let's build boost in second gear. Very quiet. Very quiet. Eh. Um. Okay. I heard something. Oops. Yeah. It's like a little mouse. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Disappointed. Bigger turbo. But yeah, massive turbo. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, I can hear it coming from right here. Okay. Honestly, I, I gotta watch some YouTube tutorials yeah. on turbo cars, man. Yeah, I know nothing about this stuff. I speak V12s, so that's it. Here, let's slide to them. Satisfyingly disappointing. Yeah. Boom! Work? That is so loud! Was it going to ta 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 or was it going to push? No, no. No? <laughs> it was like, <"Ps." laughs> Yeah, the valve's probably still opening up because it doesn't have the boost source on it because it's just a weak spring factory valve. Pretty much you would have to take the block valve and cap that on the intercooler. Okay. So, because that valve still naturally leaving really without that line on it being like the way they build it. Like on boost is wanting to keep that closed when you're punching right now, it's probably wanting to leak out of that valve. Okay. So without like taking it off and actually putting a plate there, like this particular one, you know, it's not going to be like, no. Cool. So yeah. straight pipes, how long is it going to take you to straight pipe this? I've got actually a GT2 RS I'm doing right now. And then I got a 997 turbo and then okay. I can take you out after that. All right, so I'll bring it back next week. Yeah. So we're not bringing any records this time. <laughs> yeah. no, no. You're gonna pass the mileage, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. Right. Well, at least we're learning something. We're taking something away. That sound does not blow up. Okay, yes. Look like fools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? About a, lot of, up. a lot of people have that common thing on it, especially they, like, they always say the, the HKS SSQB, the super sequential valve. Like the name sequential seems like that valve makes that noise. Yeah. Where in fact it's actually like that bird chirp sounding blah valve. And a lot of people have like blah valves set up wrong. You keep saying things like that to make me seem like, a, <laughs> like it's, it's a Dude, notice it's mistake. It's super common actually. Okay. And most people do think it's that. Really? Yeah. Okay, cool. You're right. my, this is my first turbo yeah. card. I don't yeah. know if I said it. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <that. laughs> oh, Alright, so I gotta get a bigger turbo for that. Okay, so tune it. Yeah. I only get 400 horsepower. I don't want any more than the 400. For a wheel or crank? A crank. It's got 310 right now. It's like Crank, yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what the funny thing is? My friend had an STI back in high school. Yeah. Remember these things used to be so fast in high school? You used now to think, oh my God, STI is so <laughs> underwhelming. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? Well, times have changed. Plus, yeah. you drive Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and, and GT3s. So, so, so slow. <laughs> okay, so to get 400 crank. Yeah, just a tune. Tune, straight pipe. Yeah, and actually, cold air to get to that, you probably need like a slightly bigger injector kit that they sell with really? it. Really? Yeah, believe it or not, these are kind of for close ninety to, horsepower. Yeah, these are pretty close to being like set out in the factory. I mean, I would definitely recommend it. It's not oh, that expensive oh yeah, either. Comes with the kit. Now, as far as cooling, I want to make sure I don't blow any more head gaskets. Can we add a second radiator to it? No, to change the radiator is a nice little bit of a bigger radiator with proper time and something like that. Cool. All right. That's it. So I'll bring it back next week. Until yeah. then, I get to break it in. Yeah, in one week, if I can finish the G2 RS exhaust and the 997 turbo, I'd be really happy. All right, 10 days? 10 days, okay. All right. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> You're gonna leave it like that? Leave what? Oh. The setup? <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, this is why we need the profession. I know. <laughs> it's a good thing the hypercar we're building has turbos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's uh, honestly Houston's expertise. I I'm just the aesthetics and the ergonomics of the car, interior and exterior. So before we get ahead of ourselves, I'm currently in open light, which is all wheel drive, non-turbo. I need to build up enough points. So I need to finish a few races. If I can win a race, I'm set to upgrade into this class. So you can't just buy a open car class. 
which is a uh, all-wheel drive turbo car and go compete with that and they uh they deem that too dangerous so i need to get some experience in my older subi we'll call that subi one this is subi two so i need to gain some experience in subi one win a couple uh maybe not a couple win at least one race and finish the other races building up enough points to be able to upgrade to this class for next season which is winter season so hopefully by winter time i mean we'll have the car ready but hopefully by winter time i'll be ready as a driver and i'll have accumulated enough points to be able to drive this thing around in the snow which should be fun as hell i just realized that's really close <laughs> wait a minute what do you think love it dude Super good decision funny. good choice with this car there's either this or a rs focus rs or fiesta but decided to stick with Subi instead of getting a Ford. Definitely, definitely, definitely not wrapping this thing green. No. Nope. Learn our lesson. Nope, and the calipers are a little green too, so I might want to get that. Yeah, the calipers are actually lime green, so they're yellow. They're on the cool spectrum, color spectrum. They're not green, the evilish green. But as far as the wrap for this car, so you know the blue Subaru with the gold uh, crests and stars that it usually has, a typical Subaru rally car. I'm thinking leave this car white and go with the gold stars again and gold wheels so basically it's the same one except white car instead of a blue car what do you think love it yeah what do you guys think should we stick with that colors <laughs> yes. all right that's it this uh i'm excited for this build i'm very excited for i'm very 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 excited for this you know? <laughs> over here so i'm going full on wrc car with this thing it's gonna have a full aero potential uh gearbox hydraulic handbrake you name it, it's gonna have everything.